Good morning, guys. Just wanted to show you quickly around what's been going on here. We've been building a lot of fence, specifically high tensile electric fence with timeless fence posts, as you see here. So, yeah, we've been going around building all sorts of fence. Uh, we've been fencing out what used to be hay fields. And as you can see here, you got insulators, high strain insulators along the end to keep this wire from touching anything that could short it out. And then uh, here is probably our biggest fence. Like this looks more like a barbed wire fence than an uh, electric fence. But I wanted to do a really good job because we're along a highway here. And I'm pretty proud of it. What's really nice about these timeless posts is that the spacing you can see here <clears throat> is already pre-made. So you can't really screw that up. And it, once you get them through, they're all perfectly the same height. Like just, just look at that. So anyway, so far I'm really happy with these timeless posts. Um, I really went on a big gamble to do everything in not only electric but to also use these posts. But so far it's been, it's been great. There's been no problems, no problems shorting. Um, I string them up and as long as my corners like here where I'm going around, I don't even build a corner. I just make it continuous and just put some insulators on here. It actually works to tighten it better the longer of a run you can do. What I did there was just a short little run and there wasn't much to tension out of it and it wasn't as tight, but here it got really tight. Um, and yeah, you don't have to mess around with insulators on the wood posts. They are flimsy. It looks like, you know, you can bend them around and that's a little, was a little concerning for me, but I went and checked out a place that had these installed in minus 30 before I bought them and we took the posts and we just bent them over and it flings right back. But I mean, I folded them right over in minus 30 and they didn't crack or nothing. They sprung right back. Another thing, we've got the first few cows out here. You can see them. We've got one mama cow, two heifers and a steer that didn't make it with the main group. They're late and sorted off and stuff. So they actually got hauled up here to my place. So this is the first time we've ever had animals out here. So that's really exciting. And this. This black and white one you see there. So she's a speckled park crossed with black Angus and uh, maybe a bit Simmental in there as well. I'm really curious to see how she'll turn out. I've heard the speckled park are really good for uh, finishing and fattening and one of my goals here would be to finish animals only on grass. So I'm really curious to see how she finishes out, how she fattens up. So look at that, cow poop. I'm also excited to start seeing how this land can change now that we got animals on it. It's only been hayed for like 20 years. But just, just look at her, can you see? She actually has a really, really thick frame to her. She's already looking like she's <laughs> getting fat. Uh, even up on her, on her tail, it's starting to widen out. But I don't know if that's Speckled Park genetics. That's her mum right there too. And she has a really good back end as well. So I, th I don't know if that's the speckle park genetics or if that's just the cow genetics that she came from. But anyways, back to the fencing. We've been fencing really hard, really busy lately. That's why this video isn't going to have any cuts. I'm just going to post it how it is. Um, here I electrified the top four wires and the bottom one I just left unelect. I didn't electrify it just because it's so low. I didn't want to mess around with grass going up on it and messing with it. On the other side there, I'm not sure if you can see. I've got three wires right there. And uh, man, I want to cross the fence, but I really can't. <laughs> so we got three wires there and they are, that's what I'm doing most everything else. It's gonna be three wires, timeless fence posts. Here I did seven foot spacing and you can see how the fence looks. You can see how the fence looks. It looks really good. It looks almost like a barbed wire fence. And if somebody has OCD or really likes seeing straight fence lines, this one will really crank their fancy. But then, as I'm about to show you here, I'm building an alleyway. We've got a little road going into the back. So I'm gonna build an alleyway all the way along, completely electrified as well, with a fence on both sides of the road. And that way, It'll connect all my pasture all the way to the back and we can walk the cattle back and forth 
without any big roundup or mess around. So I can cross this here because I didn't electrify the gate. Just kidding. And then quickly here, here is what most of our fence will look like. Three wire, one, two, three, somewhat tensioned but not super tight. Like I can push that down a fair bit. Remember it's a mental barrier, not a physical barrier. And then posts every 15 paces, roughly. And then again on the corners, just up here, I did just a rolling corner. I just put some wood posts because the timeless will suck in. Like this one here is bending a little bit here. But I put some wood posts right on the curve of the road and they seem to roll in fine. So yeah, right here. So again, I just insulated it and I rolled them along and the force is going this way. I thought about bracing it to counter the force, but honestly, there's not very much tension on these. This isn't a barbed wire fence. The cows aren't going to be leaning up against it. And yeah, so there it is. And we're going to work up the alley on the other side and work them back. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more if you like it. Stay tuned and have a good one.